So let's get started inside of QGS. We're going to need to open up our QGS project file and we're going to load your course location in there. So how do we end up doing that? So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our QGIS uh, folder in our project, our LiDAR folder rather. So I've got my project here, Oakmont. I'm going to go into my LiDAR folder here and then inside of Oakmont, and you're going to see this. Remember, when we named this Oakmont QGZ. I'm not sure what's happening here. Uh, we're going to double click on this, and it should be open by QGIS automatically. So we're going to let that load up. And you'll see we'll have our Google and Bing. If you didn't do not have these here, it's because you did not follow the setup videos for QGIS, right? So make sure you've got those there. But we're going to come down here to this corner and I'm going to click and we're going to come up here to Nominatum Geocoder. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to double click on it rather. And down here, we're going to start searching for our course. Now I am doing Oak Mont Golf Course. And let's see if that comes up. Oh, it did. Okay. So we've got Oak Mont Go Country Club here. And I don't know why my Discord keeps on popping up. Um, you'll get some results here. You might need to search by address, okay, specifically by address, um, or some other things. If it doesn't work, there is a workaround in the LiDAR to terrain process. Just follow that. So I think this is the country club I'm looking for. Oakmont Country Club. Where is this? Allegheny. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to double click on it. And you can see it zooms me right into the golf course. So this is Oakmont. Uh, at this point, I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to save uh my project so i hit save now my location is saved to my qgis project